Hey everybody, Jesse here. As you can see, I'm doing a little bit of 3D modeling, and I thought this would be a good opportunity to take a peek behind the curtain and to show you my process. Each model I make is a new challenge, even when I'm doing something I've done a thousand times before, like uh, heads and faces, that sort of thing. Uh, I always try to approach it from a new angle. One of the only things that I tend to do consistently is to start with the eyes, because those are the major focus point for the audience. And so that is a good, great starting point. Because I'm working a lot with stylized cell shaded models right now, uh, one of the things that I find myself doing is focusing very heavily on the silhouette to make sure that those features work very well from most angles. Once I have those visual landmarks down, I can map out the rest of the model based on that. I usually try to keep it quad as well as to have an edge flow, particularly around the brow and eyelids and smile lines. I took this approach when I was modeling Little Wolf, but realized afterwards that it was not completely necessary. Since the character is tune shaded, we are not looking for an accurate representation of the normals, which is the direction of the geometry. Uh, and because of that, we can take some liberty and use triangles where appropriate and cut down on the geometry where we need it. I usually model my characters using a mesh smooth modifier, but this time around I'm modeling with straight polygons into the character's face. This is a pain in the short run because it means paying close attention to every minute detail up close and making sure you have enough geometry to work so that your character doesn't look angular and polygony in the long run. But it makes life easier when you don't have to animate or paint weights on the mesh smoothed surface, which makes programs like Maya way more prone to crashing. If you're interested in tune shaded modeling, definitely check out the making of Guilty Gear XRD. You may also want to look into Blender because there's a very big uh, non-photoreal community there. One of the tricks that I learned from the making of Guilty Gear XRD video was the idea of redirecting the normals of a polygon. That's crucial when selling the character as a stylized rather than 3D model. The best method I've found to do this is to redirect the normals to a simplified object like a sphere that closely matches the general shape of the head without all those details like eyelids, nostrils, mouths, etc. One thing I don't do when modeling is stick strictly to the isometric model sheets, the front view and side view of the character's designs. Uh, your character may look great in an isometric view, but it will inevitably get warped when viewing in perspective. I always correct for perspective so that the character will look correct in the camera view. That's the most important because that's how your audience will perceive your character, through a perspective camera. So keep that in mind. That's pretty much all I wanted to cover. Uh, one other note, I'm working hard to continue the story of Little Wolf. Right now it's looking like a crowdfunded graphic novel would be the best approach for me. I've already written a script, it's about 80 pages long and I'm pushing hard to get a couple of pages done before officially launching the crowdfunder. Once that's underway, I'll make lots of noise and shout out so all of you can know about it and hopefully check it out. In the meantime, thanks for watching.